Good morning, everybody. It's about 10 o'clock. I got up at two o'clock this morning. Listed a couple things on eBay, and I'm just trying to get my mind straight. Edited a video. I'm gonna be liquidating a lot of the things that I own. Two things sold today. They're already packed up, ready to go. This is a PFG fishing shirt, and this is a original Amazon Kindle or Nook. I can't remember, one of those. Didn't sell for too much. These Both of these were like 30 bucks, not a whole lot. But right now I'm just in like liquidating mode. I'm gonna try to get rid of all of my possessions minus maybe a, a little bit of uh, business inventory. Just try to liquidate and see if we're gonna go van direction and how that's gonna work. Plan for today, I'm gonna go down to see my mom. I have a cruise control that I'm going to install on her Prius C. I think that's pretty much it. Ah, there's a freaking cockroach on me. Gosh, scared me. Gosh, in Florida, they just love to come in when it rains. Crawling on my foot, that was kind of creepy. Maybe I'll list a couple more things before I go. I want to eat that frog. So this happened. I got a letter in the mail saying my Target credit card was canceled because I didn't use it. So if you want to make sure your Target credit card doesn't get canceled, make sure you use it. I was in Thailand. I didn't use it. Check out this mural at this post office. The best post office mural you've ever seen. Here lies my mom's beautiful Prius C, which in Japan is called the Aqua, Toyota Aqua, but they're branded in the US as the Prius C. It's the small hatch version of the Prius. The previous owner did put some rims on it, and he also installed leather seats in here. We're gonna be installing the cruise control on this car. There is a kit that they sell on Amazon called the Rostra kit. It's not cheap, it's like $200, but to get cruise control on your Prius 1, for whatever reason, they did not build the base Prius with cruise control and it's like $1,000 if you go to a dealer. To do the cruise control installation, I'm gonna need some tools from Grandpa's man cave. Well, good luck, <laughs> whatever you're looking for. Yeah. Tools, there's tool boxes. He's got stuff kind of over things. Drill presses, very Mr. Fix-It. Fishing poles out the wazoo, fishing reels. He used to love going to the dump and finding things to fix and then bringing them home, giving them away, donating them to the thrift stores, bringing them to me to sell on eBay. Some sort of repurpose of something that's been thrown away. I got my ability to work with my hands to fix things. I feel like I got that trait from my grandfather. Aha, 10 millimeters, that's what we need. Thank you, Grandpa. You're gonna need a 10 millimeter crescent wrench, Phillips screwdriver. I used forceps, you really don't need those. I use these just as like a small pliers, just a little bit more dexterity. And I want in a one half inch hole driller. I don't know what these are called. One and a half inch bit. Wiring kit, hit me up if you need wires. Reach out to me and I'll mail you two. And then someone else reach out to me, I'll mail you two. And then someone else reach out to me, I'll mail you one. No charge, I'll mail them to you just so I can help you out, that's fine. You will need a Toyota Cruise con Control switch. The Rostra kit, or you can get that just off of eBay or from Amazon. You can pretty much get any Toyota. I'm gonna run everybody through what, exactly what I'm doing. I removed the negative terminal from the battery, which is actually in the back seat. Underneath the passenger side, see the battery back there? I had to remove these little plastic trim on the side. And there is two little retainer clips Right in there, you can see that right there and you press on that and it releases this front part of the airbag, but the airbag comes off. I really hope this does not explode in my face. I'm literally holding the life of my mother in my hands. This is pretty intense. I forgot to mention, I actually bought her this car last year. She totaled her Toyota Corolla 2005. She likes small cars, and I looked for about a month and a half while I was in New Mexico. Wired my brother some money during his lunch break. $7,000 is what we got for this car off of Craigslist. It's a 2013 Prius C, and I think we got it with like 100 and maybe like 105,000 miles on it. Uh, the previous owner was using it for small package delivery. You can see it a little bit easier now. You press these clips in right here. You press on these and it kind of 
pushes that, opens it up. Those little uh, cones right there are where it catches. A little cruise control action. So the cruise control actually just sits in right here. There's two places where it mounts. I'm gonna mount it with the uh, with a lock washer on it just to keep it from maybe backing out. Maybe I would do a drop of uh, thread lock on it. I feel like you're gonna be moving this a lot and then it's gonna put a little bit of stress on the mounting points. So we're gonna put two lock washers on there and then we connect it up here at the top. It just clicks in. The great thing about the Prius C is that it's pre-installed with software to run cruise control. They just yank out the hardware. They just don't install the hardware at the factory for the base model. So all you need is the cruise control stick and then there's two specific wires that you have to buy off of eBay or Amazon. It literally is like two wires and a controller for $200. After installing the, uh, the actual cruise control switch, you have to take off this bottom panel of the steering wheel here. So to get this bottom panel off to do the wiring, there's two screws, one here. You have to turn the steering wheel all the way to the left to get to that screw. And then you have to turn the steering wheel all the way to the right to get, that'll drive you nuts if you didn't know those were there. And we're gonna get into this switch right here. We're gonna use those two compartments on the bottom left there. I got it into this harness. I did have to kind of orient them a certain way and then press a little bit to get them to lock, but they do have a little mechanical click, meaning that they're in. And that's gonna, this black one's going to be the ground, and this brown one we're gonna wire. Uh, the brown one we're gonna connect to another wiring harness in this box panel down here but I'm gonna put this whole steering wheel mechanism back together now. Just do the opposite of what I just did. So I just reconnected two electrical connectors and then the ground on the airbag and then you just kind of press it in and it uh, locks back into place. So I just routed the wires, uh, wrapped it around these wire bundles here as you can see. It's wrapped around here. The ground, the ground to this 10, 10 millimeter bolt down here and then the one that actually has the cruise control signal. Pull it to the back right here. It is a little bit longer, so I kind of tied it off. You're going to pull in, pull out this top part of the, I think, ECM harness. And this is where your last little one's going to go into. You see that two bottom rows? There's like an H here. Well, you're gonna skip one and then you're gonna go one over from there. This one I had a little bit more trouble getting in, but I ended up taking a pair of forceps, grabbing this white piece of plastic right here, pulling it out just like a millimeter and then inserting it in and then inserting the wire in. That's the wiring for the cruise control electric. I uh, zip tied the monstrosity just to another wire bundle just to make it a little bit tighter. Uh, we're gonna put all the plastics back on. That bottom panel's back on. There's one screw that goes in right there. So one of them you're just gonna snap back in. We're gonna have to drill a hole in the right one to make room for the cruise control stick. And if somehow you stumbled upon this video, I do have one, two, three, four, five of the wires left. So if you send me a private message on Twitter or Instagram, or if you leave a comment here, uh, I'll, get, I'll get back to you. I'll mail you two of these wires because I, you only need two of them. You can turn one of them into a ground, but you, the, the difficult thing are these uh, these connectors being made to just like stick into the wiring harness. That's what makes them so expensive. But honestly, it's like 10 cents worth of wire, but they charge you like 100 to $200 for the wire pack. It's crazy. So send me a message. I will send you two of these. Um, to the first two people and then if one person wants just the one I will send that to the third person. All we got to do is reconnect the negative terminal on the battery I'm gonna go grab my mom and we're gonna go for a test drive. It took me about two and a half hours to film it Mind you uh, this is my first time doing it and I also had to go into my grandpa's man cave and look I, I don't know exactly how the tools are organized So it took me a little bit to find the tools next time if I had to do it for somebody else It probably would take me under an hour for sure Really easy job. I'd give it like a one out of five difficulty. All right, mom, moment of truth. So we're gonna go test it. Okay, will you hold the fort down? Mom's gone, I guess I will. If the airbag didn't blow up in your face is good because I had to take the airbag off. <laughs> Thank I you. I learned how to replace an airbag during this. Thank you for the warning that that might happen. <laughs> Florida birds, Florida birds. Where? She turned the cruise control on, a light went on, that's good. We gotta get out of the uh, old folks park because we're only allowed to go like 15 miles per hour in here. Set it, you, you go down. To cancel it, you pull in. 
and then to, to increase by like a couple miles per hour, you flick up. Yeah, you, you might have to go over 30 miles per hour. All right, so it's not setting at like 15 or 16 miles per hour, but I think you have to go faster than that, so. All right. Ah! <laughs> it's working. She's cruising at 49. Look at that, no hands. That's a happy mom. That is a happy mom. The dealership would have charged you like $1,200, mom. Oh, wow. Subscribe to the College Picker and like the video. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I forgot I was going back to grandma's. Thumbs up for cruise control. Thumbs up for happy mothers and grandmothers. Bye. Bye. Oh, stop. <laughs> it's the only Coke I've ever You guys are still over here doing Coke?